Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Cuisine. Appreciate you dropping by. Tonight, got a special dish for you. We are going to make a roasted chili and cheese grits. We're going to get started on these grits. But before I do, I just want you to know, this is not my recipe. Normally, every recipe you see is mine. I actually had an opportunity to go to the showcase dinner here in San Antonio a few years ago. Had a wonderful chef there providing the food at it, Chef uh, John Bonnell. Now, I'll tell you what, he's a great chef up in Dallas, Fort Worth. Has a fantastic restaurant up there. His food was tremendous. And that night, he made these chili cheese grits. Not exactly probably the way I do mine, but very similar. So I just want to let you know that. Also, I do have a couple of his cookbooks in my uh, in my Amazon store. So if y'all are interested in looking at his cookbooks, great guy, fantastic dishes. So y'all can check them down there. But we're going to get started making a roasted poblano and chili cheese grits. I'm going to get started here by uh, heating up my, my saucepan. Add a little bit of oil to it. If you wanted to use butter on this stage, probably even be better. I just forgot to carry butter out here tonight, so... We're using it. It's going to spread that around. And on top of it, I've got maybe a third of a cup of diced onion. I'm going to drop that on, and I'm going to saute these onions. Turn this heat down just a little bit. And we just want to take these till they start getting kind of translucent. Not really worried about them browning any, but we just want to get them nice and hot and get them tender. Now that those are starting to... Uh, to soften up, I'm going to add some roasted poblano peppers. Now, I've already roasted these and uh, diced them up. I do have a uh, video on how to roast uh, peppers. i actually showing how to roast a red bell pepper. Poblano pepper works the same way, just this poblano has a whole lot more flavor to it. So I'm just adding them in. They're going to start softening. They're already pretty soft, but I just want to kind of get them hot. Let them cook with the onions a little bit. Lower the temperature down some because my next ingredient going in will burn if you're not careful. And that's about three cloves of garlic. I do love these uh, green chilies and onions. <laughs> I am not a grit eater. I, uh, my mama used to eat grits for breakfast with eggs. I never could uh, acquire a taste for them because I didn't think they tasted very much. We tried these. I fell in love with these. You had some... Uh, some roasted peppers and cheese to your grits. You're amazing how much better they taste. So that's looking pretty good. Got the temperature down. And I'm going to drop my three cloves of garlic right into. The reason we wait on this is because garlic will burn if you're not careful. And then, of course, you're going to get that bitter flavor from burnt garlic. So we don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to put that in. And, boy, it's really aromatic. You can really... Start smelling all these flavors. You got your roasted chilies in there. And i tell you one tip real quick as we're doing this. I'm going to check my fire. Go down a little bit lower. I'm still a little hotter than I want to be. I'm going to move it off the fire for a second. But um, one thing you want to remember in roasted chilies. When you're peeling the black off of them, do not put them under water. A lot of people will put them under water because it's an easy way to... Uh, to kind of rinse off all that black, it doesn't get all over your hands, it doesn't make a mess, but you're washing off all that flavor you work so hard to get. So don't, don't do that. These are looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna go with a cup of chicken stock on top of here. I can turn my heat back up again, because we're gonna get this hot. And on top of my uh, chicken stock, I'm going to add a cup of heavy cream. Now we're going to bring this to a boil. Then tonight, I know all you purists are going to holler, you're going to gripe, and you're going to say, yeah, blasphemy, but I have instant grits. They'll cook in about five minutes. If you use regular grits, some of y'all, if you don't know what a grit is, polenta, same thing, it's a coarse ground corn. And uh, I was going to use regular grits tonight, but... Our local HEB had no grits that were the regular stone ground grits I normally get. Um, so I opted for the instant ones. And I tell you what, if you're in a hurry, it's not a bad thing to have. 
But like I said, they will cook in about five minutes. So we're gonna we're gonna bring this up and let it start boiling. Stir it every once in a while so it doesn't scorch on the bottom. I'm not gonna add any any uh, seasonings yet. There's a lot of flavor in this pot, and we'll sample it in a little while to see. Especially you don't want to add salt. If you want to add a little pepper now, say a little fajita seasoning. If it was a uh, fajita season without salt, that would be fine to go in there at this time. But uh, you just want to be careful and uh, don't get too much salt because your chicken base already has salt in it. Of course, unless you're using a, a saltless chicken base, but mine does. So we're going to be careful with the salt. And if we look, this is starting to come to a boil. Didn't take it very long at all. So I'm going to measure out a half a cup of grits. And you, I tell you what, the uh, if we're to, you were to use water, you, you wouldn't have near the rich flavor. And you can cook grits, and they cook polenta with water. I know a lot of people do. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to turn that down. Getting hot again. And I'm just going to start sprinkling in my grits. I'm going to do this slowly. And I'm just going to stir as I'm adding them. Don't want to go too fast, especially if you're using the stone ground grits. You're going to be stirring for about 20 minutes when you cook those. Just like cooking polenta. Same thing. But uh, with these instant grits, it's about a five minute job and you don't have to stir the whole time. So, I want this to be kind of at a simmer. We're gonna cook this till it starts thickening up. And you can see this is starting to thicken up. But it, it's gonna go about five minutes. And then what we're gonna do is, is uh, add our cheese to it. And I have two different cheeses tonight. I have a uh, quarter cup of Monterey Jack and a quarter cup of cheddar. But as you heat these up, they just start sucking in that chicken broth and that cream, and they're just gonna get thicker and thicker. We can see now how, how thick they're getting. Look at there. Starting to get that thickness we want with our grits. And of course, when we add the cheese, they're really gonna thicken up well. Got the heat turned off on these grits. And I'm gonna take my cheese. You can see I have a nice uh, yellow and white cheese. It's a, it's a sharp cheddar and a Monterey Jack. And I'm just gonna drop the quarter cup of each one in. And if you get too much cheese, you'll find out it, it kind of seizes up on you. You'll see it gets real thick. Don't want that to happen. We're just gonna stir in our cheese grits our cheese into our grits. Let that melt and we are going to have a cheesy, rich, wonderful tasting grit. Let's get a little sample here and see if we need any. Could use a little bit of salt. They're not too salty. I'm just going to add some fajita seasoning. It's Bolner's brand. Y'all know I like using that all the time. I'm going to add that to it and it has salt in it so that's going to help with the, with the salt issue. Stir that in real well. Now, let me uh, let me just taste these. Very good. They are excellent. You can really taste those peppers in it. Uh, just that little bit of fajita seasoning really kind of pepped it up, sparked it up a little bit. We're going to use these for another dish, but this is the way that we make our chili cheese grits. Just uh, go to my videos. You can see them. How to roast a uh, a pepper. Fire, I think it says how to ro fire roast a pepper, but I'm going to put that down below so that you can see it. It cooked up very, very well. A lot of flavor. Not a lot of pictures to show you here tonight as far as the way the uh, cheese grits look. I'm going to put a, uh, a picture of them up, though. We're going to use these actually as some tacos tonight. So you'll be able to see that. I'll have the taco video up in a few days, and you'll be able to see how we officially use these grits. I'm going to go ahead and cover them. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. I sure do appreciate it tonight. Hope you enjoyed my roasted chili and cheese grits. They are fantastic. We love them. We use them on, uh, on some tacos we're going to be doing here in a little bit. I also love these with shrimp. 
Shrimp and grits is a match made in heaven, and these are great grits to use with them. A lot of bold flavors in here, so hope you give it a try. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell your friends and family about us. Let them know what's going on on Texas Style Cuisine. Give us that thumbs up, and we'll see you down the road. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.